going to talk about adding mixed numbers and to do that I'm going to use these tiles that you guys see here to help illustrate what we're actually doing. So let's look at this problem first. One and a half plus one and two thirds. To do this problem, we're going to use these tiles. So I have a, a one tile, a whole tile, and a half. I have a one and two thirds, all right? So let's look at this. I now have my one and a half, okay? So you see the one and a half, and then I have the one and two thirds. But to do that, we must exchange out our halves and our thirds to make like denominators. So what is the like denominator of two and three? Well, if you count by twos, you get two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, and so on. When you go for threes, three, six, nine, 12. Did you hear? The first number that repeated in both two and, and three was six. So we're gonna use sixth. So I'm gonna convert my halves to three sixths. And I'm gonna convert each of my thirds to two sixths. Okay, so now I can take away my thirds and I can take away the half. All right, so now I'm left with two holes and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six. So when we do that, we get two and seven sixths, but we know that six sixths would be one whole. So I'm gonna take away six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm gonna replace that with another one. So now we have one, two, three holes and one sixth. So our answer to this problem is, oh, let me change color there, three and one sixth. Okay, let's look at this problem. We have one and seven eighths and one and one fourth. So just like we've been doing with um, proper fractions, we want to make these denominators the same. And we look and what is my common denominator of four and eight? The answer to that is eight itself because the little number goes into the big number. So I'm gonna keep seven eighths the same and I'm going to add one and something over eight. Now, how did I get from four to eight? What is the relationship? It means four times what will give me eight, and the answer is two. So whatever we did to the denominator, we must do to the numerator. So two times one is two. Okay, we're all set up. The first thing we wanna do is we wanna add our mixed numbers. When we do that, we get two, and we can transfer over our eight. Now, we can add our numerators. Seven plus two is nine. Now, if the numerator is greater than the denominator, we have an improper fraction, an improper mixed number in this case. So, we wanna say, how many eights go into nine? The answer is one, so we're going to borrow eight from there, change that two to a three, change this to a one because we took eight away to make a whole because eight eighths is one whole. So now our new answer is three and one eighth. So there's that extra step at the end sometimes if you get a fraction that's improper and you need to make it a proper fraction by taking away the denominator from the top as many times as you need to and then adding how many times you do that to the whole. In this case, we can only take eight away one time so we added one over here to make it the two a three, and we took away the eight here to make that a one, because nine minus eight is one. And that is how you simply add mixed numbers.